This is Ranger Kid Will Ross, editor of World Sweeper, director of the World Sweeping Association. I'm uh, in, a, in a booth for local government procurement, and this is a type of organization I'm not sure exists in the United States. I'm with uh, Michael Robinson, and he's the acting general manager of the organization. No better man to uh, tell us what it is. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, talk about uh, the interface you do. You're a nonprofit, that's right? Um, well, yes and no. So okay. We are a wholly owned subsidiary of local government New South Wales. Uh, we are a proprietary limited company, but we do operate as a not-for-profit. So we were established to do tenders and contracts on behalf of all councils in New South Wales to achieve efficiencies of um, aggregation and group buying power. Um, so the reason that we operate as a not-for-profit is that we do achieve a very small income that covers the cost of us doing business. However, anything beyond that, we provide back to councils in the form of a rebate. So it's to get the benefit of that group buying efficiency of all 152 councils in New South Wales, but then any income that we do achieve, we provide back to council in the form of a rebate. Makes sense. So the idea here is that, uh, my understanding is that uh, contracts over $150,000 Australian are required to go through tender, and uh, so you that's one of the things you administer is to make sure councils do that, and then you, uh, what do you, what, talk about the yep. role you have there. Yes, sure. So under uh, legislation in New South Wales, in Australia, all councils are required to call tenders for any area of expenditure over $150,000. So there must be a competitive bidding process. That's correct. Okay. So a publicly advertised um, bidding process. That is unless they use one of our contracts. So we're actually prescribed in legislation, which means the councils negate the need for them to go through that process. So for a council in New South Wales, it uh, typically takes three months from the time they put together the tender the time they evaluate it and actually get it uh, accepted by the council, it can take up to three months. Whereas if they go through our contract, they can still go through a competitive process, get competitive bids from the suppliers on our contract, but we'll cut down that time frame from three months down to a couple of weeks. So the administrative burden has been removed for both councils and the suppliers. That's, uh, that's great. So you have uh, ahead of time really checked out the bona fides of these different suppliers and, and you've authorized that, that they're valid uh, people that can answer tenders. Correct. And that, so that's not just the upfront process, that's also a continuation through the contract. So we make sure that their insurances are valid, that they've got certificates of currency, that they're meeting all of their work health and safety legislative requirements, that all of the compliance issues have been addressed and maintained uh, mm -hmm. for the life of the contract. Yeah, that's great. And, and and are you able to come up with uh, better value? Uh, you know, if someone uses you, that then they might get otherwise. Absolutely. So, but where the true benefit is is where councils actually work together to achieve that common good. So obviously, through aggregation and volume, that's where we actually drive better value. So if one council uses the contracts, they will get some good value. But if two or three or many councils work together, that's where the real value is, is achieved. And that's what part of our role is doing, um, working with them to achieve that. So this really shows the value of having uh, an organization like, like yours to, uh, it looks like there are a lot of value in a lot of different directions here. So I'll, I'll uh, take a picture of a uh, video of some of, of these. And uh, you know, it looks like your, your contracts cover really anything in the public works sector that might be $150,000 or more. So It's actually also important to understand that it's not just over $150,000, it's also under $150,000, okay. so it's any value. Um, so it can be from something as small as some office products right up to major civil construction to be purchased through our contracts. Okay. Um, so it covers all areas of spend. And uh, what is the uh, website? I'll hold up a card here that probably has a Sure. A website so on our it. website is www.lgp.org.au. Okay, that'll do it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, Michael. Thanks, Ranger.